so on my last video I showed you guys how to hook up my uh, feed lines that were previously just done breakers I don't know how you guys have yours um, but anyways I went ahead and got all that three houses done so now I'm going to show you guys how I go and uh, program my feed lines to turn on with my controller so right now as you can see my feed line is off so I'm going to go ahead and put that on auto and then my feed clock from my fill system I always leave that on on so the reason being is my feed lines have um, pressure switches at the end so when those get closed they turn on automatically so now um, to do program it on the short time controller Chortronics 2 this is what I have in my uh, two houses um, you want to go to your general setup click on it and then scroll down to or go to output and then scroll all the way down to right here to where it says uh, clock output and then you'll have your light clock one light clock two three four however many you want to have on there um, so mine is already set up on my light clock for my uh, dimmer so this is what that is but I did went ahead and hooked up my third row of lights which is in the center and I went ahead and put it on a relay as well just in case I ever want to use it um, I just went ahead and done that so I'm gonna go ahead and set the relay for light clock 3 should be um, this one right here center lights so that's relay 36 so now we'll come over here and enter 36 okay so that will be for light clock 3 and then for the feed clock I'll enter 37 which is what's over here so my feed clock is 37 and then my fill system will be 38 so now I'll come over here enter 37 and then I'll go down to my spare clock that's where I'm gonna put my fill system on and I'll set that at 38 so once you do that um, I'm gonna go ahead and save those settings that way every time I load my program up those relays will automatically be assigned to uh, those switches so in order to do that I'm just gonna go to programs down here at the bottom hit programs and then I'm gonna go to save and then I'm gonna select this on my program number two you guys can put it whatever program you want so program two should be full house just make sure that you do it on the right one because if you mess up it will delete all your settings so do you want to save program I'm gonna hit yes enter and then it saved all those settings on there now now to actually program the clock you want to go to clocks and then right here you should have your light clock your feed clock your feed curve and then your spare so your spare would be for the one that I just uh, programmed so you would set your times here at whatever time you wanted to come on and then at whatever time you wanted to go off so but I'm not gonna mess with that because uh, I'm gonna leave my fill system on at all times and the only one that I want to program is my feed lines so that's that one right there so in order for you to program this you gotta make sure that the feed curve is off if it's on it will not let you uh, make any changes so you go to off and then you go to feed curve click on it and then right here it's got the active from day one and then the bend point so what active from day is if you want to set certain days to uh, increase the feed times or decrease feed times or have it turned on a certain time at that day then uh, this is where you would set it so I'm gonna set mine the first one that I'm gonna set 
is going to be on day five. And I'm going to set it to turn on at 0700. And then it's going to turn off at 0800. So my chickens normally then are pretty small at that time. So if I fill that feeder once in the morning and then once around uh, 6. So I'm going to set it at 1800. And shot off at 1900. So there's the first one. That will be active at day 5. Now to change to a different uh, setup, you hit that one, it'll change that bend point to a different day, and then right here, I'm going to go ahead and set that to be active at day uh, 9. So at day 9, I'm going to have it come on at 0700 again, and then I'm going to have it turn off at... 0800 and so I'm gonna add a third one on this one so instead of having two I'm gonna add a third one so this time I'm gonna turn it back on at 1300 which is one o'clock and I'm gonna shut it off at 1400 Okay, and then I'm going to turn it back on at 1900 and shut it back off at 2000. So as you can see, every time I make uh, a change on here, it shows you down here on the, on the chart. So that's where it turns on and off, turns on and off, turns on and off. So those are my three uh, settings. So the reason I want to have this clock on here is because when my chickens are small, um, they tend to jump inside the pans, your feed pans, and they'll kick out a bunch of feed wasted to the ground. So once they kick it on into the ground, generally they hardly ever eat it. So you're losing out on money there. So if I have it to turn on at certain times, usually the feed level stays full, but not too high to where they can kick it out of your feed pans so that's the main reason why I wanted to be able to do this now when they get bigger I'll probably just leave the feed line on all the time uh, probably after say day 20 or so but uh, for now this is all I'm gonna program just day 9 this is what's gonna kick in and then now to turn it on all you got to do is go to feed and then enter turn on your feed curve hit yes and then there you go so now this is what it's going to do so that's how you program the feed clock and then the light clock is the same same way so if you want to program it to turn on at certain times of the day then you could do that so mine right now comes at 0600 turns off at 11 um and you could you could see right here this is how much light they get during the day and then the the gap right here is how much uh, darkness or when they go to sleep so but anyways that's how you do that um if you guys have any questions or need any help with this uh, just leave a comment below and i'll be more than uh, happy to help you guys um anyways that's it for today